iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm Hills Rashad, and we're here to show you how to install WordPress using LAMP on Ubuntu. Um, if you don't have LAMP installed already, please watch my tutorial on how to install LAMP. If you do have it installed, good, you're good to go. And you can watch these couple steps and I'll get you up and running with WordPress in no time. So first thing we want to do is make sure two things that MySQL and our web server is working. So to test those two things out, we want to go ahead and go to our web browser. In the web browser, you want to put localhost. And it says it works that's good all right so that works another thing we want to go ahead and go to the root directory where that page is and we want to make sure that we can make changes in here if these are are not highlighted if there if, if you cannot click on these items that means you have you don't have permissions and you need to log into root or you can do it through command line using sudo and you can do it with a, a g edit and then go over here with the command line and go ahead and access this file but to make it faster and easier i would advise you to log in as root if you're not logging as root or you don't have a root password please watch my early tutorial on how to install lamp and i'll show you how to do that also all right now that we have that out the way we don't really need this anymore so we go ahead and delete it All right, now that folder is empty. Now let's go make sure MySQL is working. So we're going to go ahead and go to the terminal. We want to go ahead and put MySQL. That's you. root dash p go ahead and put your password in and this is the password you have put in when you first installed all right now for wordpress we're gonna go ahead and make a database for it so let's go ahead and put create database and we're just gonna call the database wordpress All right. We can go ahead and press enter. Make sure you close it with semicolons. All right. Now we want to go ahead and put show databases. Make sure you close it like I forgot to do earlier. All right. Now we see we have a WordPress database. That's the WordPress database we're going to use. Uh, for this tutorial I'm just using the root username to be able to log into this if you want to make a user just for WordPress you can um, I'll show you how to do that also so if you want to make a user just for WordPress purposes instead of giving them the root password you go ahead and put this command in alright and here we want to go ahead and put the username we want to use for this username, I'm just going to say username is going to be user. You just make whatever username you want. And then here, you want to go ahead and put the password. And for his password, I'm just going to give him password. All right, now you're good to go. Now, we need to go ahead and install wordpress so we can go ahead and get it wordpress from wordpress.org so go ahead and go to wordpress.org 
all right once you're on wordpress.org you want to go ahead and click on down, download wordpress okay say okay we want to open it with default all right now that we have wordpress zipped right here we're going to go ahead and go back to our file system now we want to go ahead and go back to var www and we want to go ahead, double click on this we just want to copy everything from here into there alright let's go ahead and close everything alright one more thing we need to do we need to go ahead and open this page up right here this config sample go ahead and open up with an editor alright in here we want to put a database name and the database we have made remember we named it WordPress remember the database we made in there so we can call it WordPress alright and remember the username we have made we called them just user whatever user you have made I just called them user and I gave him the password of just password alright now we're going to go ahead and save this now close it now let's go ahead and we need to rename this just just delete the sample part so it should be WP config alright now we're good to go so let's go ahead and close this now let's go ahead and go back to our Mozilla web browser we go ahead and put localhost in slash WP dash admin slash install dot PHP alright if it doesn't work for you you need to restart your Apache server or you just need to give it a little time it might take a little while for it to change over or see the files in there so right now we're going to make the site title I'm going to call the site title ITG Geek make a username for it make a password and like I said if this doesn't come up for you you need to wait a while or you need to restart your Apache server alright put the password in then put your email in And you want to make if you want to make the search engine see it like Google and stuff, you go ahead and keep that check and press install. If this doesn't come up, that means that you put either you put the wrong password or the wrong database or some kind of information inside that config file. Make sure you put the right things in there. If all else fails, if you forgot your password, just go ahead and put your root as a username and the regular password as a password. After that, just go ahead and log in. So we go ahead and put admin. And then put the password we just put in there. Alright, now you're inside WordPress. It's up and running. And you go ahead and add pages, add a theme, and stuff like that. And like I said before, if 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 you go to view web website or something and it doesn't work make sure you refresh your Apache server but it should work and if it does go to a different page you want to make sure that you delete whatever page that's coming for like the index file like the, H, the, the original HTML index file might be popping up you need to delete that or go into your config file your Apache config file and make sure that you have it pointing to this page or looking for the index.php first well, we successfully installed WordPress. I'm your host, Rashad. Thanks for watching.